Hello, my name is Joe Asensio. And I'm Steve Horninger. We're your instructional technology team here at the Edwards campus. This is a sample Blackboard course that we use for demonstration purposes. So today we would like to talk about the Echo Center. Here on the left-hand navigation, I'll scroll down and you'll see the Echo Center link here. Uh, notice the uh, slash through the square. Let me take my cursor off of it so you can see it a little bit better in the blue background. Uh, that means that that is not available for the students to see it. If you get into your course and you see that, to make it available, you want to click the chevron here, drop down and click show link. And then that way that little box will disappear and now students will be able to access this item. And again, if you want to reverse that process, you click the chevron and click on hide link and then you will see that that square with the slash through it will appear. Okay. Once again, I'll put it back so that it is available for people to see it. Now, more importantly, what we want to do is take a look at what Echo in the cloud looks like while we're inside of our Blackboard course. And you'll see here this particular course has a lot of practice and test recordings. Uh, one of the ones we're going to look at here is this particular line uh, called Joe Test Audio Drop uh, that we recorded a while back. Notice here on the far right we have some icons. These are the same icons that you and your students will see in your course. Uh, the green icon here with the echo symbol is the one that will show you that the video is available and ready to go. If you have scheduled uh, lecture captures waiting to start, there will be a gray in color and then it will change uh, when it's processing uh, an actual video until the video is ready to go. Notice as you go to the right there are some other icons. We don't use a lot of those right at this moment, but if you wanted to rename that particular session, you can use this pencil which will then pop up the window and you'll be able to change the name um, that you want to do. Okay. I'm just going to cancel that for now. Another thing that you could do if you like is you could upload PowerPoint slides uh, here inside of Echo instead of it recording them and, and uploading them inside of your course. So what you could do there is go ahead and click on the plus symbol, in which case this one we've already done, so you see the little picture of the PowerPoint slide, but let's go to the one above that. You could say add a presentation, click on that, and then you could upload the file. I think you can figure the rest out from there. Once you've uploaded it, it'll look like this, and when you click on that, you'll see that you can actually, let me scroll a little bit here, you can actually see the presentation, and then what the students can do as far as viewing it or doing whatever they want to do. You could also make it unavailable until the time that you want the students to be able to do something with it. Okay, so let's go back to just looking at this. Now if we actually click on the video itself, let's take a look at that experience. Uh, you'll see that it has a test pattern here, but we want to be able to view it, so that's what your students will do most likely. Now once you get in here, you'll see that the PowerPoint is available. And uh, this is a picture from the camera. We were just showing the, uh, the hawk walk outside. And then this is a uh, video that was playing from YouTube of some water pouring down. So we were just running a little bit of a test here. You can see that this is the three window experience that the student would have while they were watching uh, the recordings. And those windows can be resized, repositioned, deleted, etc. Now some students are a little confused when they are here and, and don't know how to get back to the course. You can just use the back button to get back to the um, Echo Center link that you were in. Or if you just want to go back to the main course itself, there's this little part here that's the roof of a house. You'll see in a moment the entire house. But uh, you can click on this and that will take you back to the Blackboard course. So now you can see that it is in fact an entire house. It's just that the bottom part was cut off uh, when you're inside of Echo Center. So hopefully this video has helped you understand a little bit about navigating inside of Echo Center and how that works inside of your Blackboard course. There's just one more thing that we want to point out. So I'll go ahead and click back on the Echo Center link again. And that is if you wanted to do an ad hoc capture, what you can do is get here inside of the Blackboard course and then you can click on Start Capture up here at the top. When you do start capture, it'll ask you what room you're in. So you would type in, for example, if you were in Best uh, 335, uh, you, you, you type in 
three, three, five, and then you would be able to select that classroom. We recommend uh, choosing the number of hours and minutes that you would like to set this up for. So say, for example, if you were making up a class uh, or, or something that you wanted to make an extra recording, you could change those hours using the drop-down menus. You can uh, select different inputs and quality, but we recommend that you leave those exactly the same. And then you get the chance to select where you want to publish it to, and it defaults to the course that you're currently in. So uh, you would technically leave that there unless you wanted to publish it to a different course. And then you would click the start, which I will not do because that would start a recording. Okay, so again, using the little roof here will take us back to the Blackboard course. Hope this helped. Thank you very much.